Welcome to Movie Moments. Following a 19-year-old student got Victoria pregnant, she was only 17 years old when their parents found out they were both disowned and forced to live together in his little apartment in school. Victoria dropped out of school while Fola continued. He was in his second year of school and she just finished high school. While he studied, she made noodles and sold to students. She also managed to set up a shop. The money was enough to fend for the both of them and prepare for the baby. Two years Years later, Victoria got pregnant again. Fola got agitated and claimed he wasn't responsible for it. He needs to focus on his exams and another baby is a lot to handle. Victoria tells him off, explaining she has been the one working to feed them all and pay for his fees. So why should he complain or try to deny the baby? An argument ensues between them so she decides to have an abortion even though she's 16 weeks gone. Sister is a cleaning lady with two children, Anu and Fola. Fola is in the university but currently at home on strike, while Anu just finished high school waiting admission. Sister works so hard to give her children a good life and often comes home stressed. Her kids worry about her and try to stop her from going to work or let them join her to help. She insists they stay at home and manages to convince them to let her go. She cleans houses and offices all by herself to avoid unpleasant circumstances. A lady she calls Auntie J, her biggest client, often recommends her to friends and colleagues for cleaning services. One of the ladies she recommended, Mrs. Uzo, asked Sister to clean her house while she was away. Sister insisted she send someone to supervise, should in case something go missing, but the lady said she trusts her. Days later, she gets a visit from Auntie J and Mrs. Uzo who accuses her of theft. She insists on searching Sister's house, so she steps aside and allows them to search the place. As the police go in to check, Mrs. Uzo gets a text from home. The item has been found. Sister does not let her apologize but sends her away. Auntie J later apologizes for Mrs. Uzo's actions. At home, Fola tells his mother he wants to go back to school and tutor some students to make a little cash to support her so she can work less. She begs him to be focused and not worry about her. Auntie J gets a surprise from Tiwa, her cousin who lives in Europe. She and her husband just relocated to Nigeria and she's in need of a cleaner to clean their new home. J recommends Sister for the job. At Tiwa's house, Sister seems a bit flustered as she sees Tiwa's husband. She leaves soon after. Meanwhile, Fola is set to leave for service. Victoria gives him some money which he refuses. He's been giving her the cold shoulder ever since he found out about the pregnancy. She apologizes for it every now and then for not aborting. Sister gets home to surprise her kids with two second-hand phones she got from Auntie J and they're so happy. Later that night, she's lost in thoughts as she remembers a young Victoria who came home to find a note from Fola who left for service. He abandoned her and the news sent her into an induced labor. Fola walks in on Victoria, his mom, crying. He thanks her for everything she does for them and tells her to share whatever's bothering her with him, hoping she's not under any pressure taking care of them. She responds that they are her greatest strength and happiness and she is okay. Siwa is hosting a housewarming so Jay recommends sister to serve at the party. She also gives Anu a contract to cater at the event with her small chops business. So sister takes her children with her to cater. Tiwa's husband keeps a keen eye on sister all through. His curiosity has him fishing for information from Jay. He finds out Anu and Fola are her children and wants to know more. He calls her by her name Vicky as she looks at him sternly before walking away. After the event, he offers to drop them off but sister refuses. Later that night, Fola is lost in thoughts. His wife notices his mood and asks what bothers him. He decides to come clean and tell his wife because the guilt is killing him. Fola explains he had a family he abandoned at 21 when he graduated college. Tiwa finds it very funny at first considering it a joke. She can't believe he abandoned a young girl with two children the very year they met at camp. She wonders why he's telling her now and he says it's the cleaner, sister. Tiwa shares it with Jay who is equally surprised because sister told her her husband is dead. Tiwa feels so sorry for her and hopes her husband can make amends. Jay thinks she should be angry and not trying to get her husband to connect back with his ex-lover. Tiwa says she has no insecurities and her husband must take responsibility for his actions. 
Tiwa and Jay visit Victoria, who insists the father of her children is dead to her. She explains how she suffered selling sachet water in a primary school to fend for them after her shop was destroyed. The principal of the school later contracted her to clean until she met Jay, who has been really good to her ever since. She's told her children their father is dead and there's no way she's going to tell them he mysteriously resurrected. Fola manages to get an invitation from his son, Fola Jr., to their home. He calls Victoria by name, which makes Anu ask if they know each other. She says no, he says yes. The kids are now aware he's their father and Victoria is so angry. Anu asks why he left. He explains he was young and foolish, but there are no excuses. He asks for a chance to make it up to them, so Victoria says the children will have to decide. She has no business with him since they were never married. The kids start spending time with their father while she keeps her distance. Victoria can't help but feel bad seeing Fola give them better things than she ever did. She got mad when he buys Fola a car and rejects it on his behalf. Days later, Anu tells her she got admission to a school in Europe. She applied because her dad wants her to school abroad. He's also transferring Fola to a private university. Victoria is raving mad at this point and heads over to Fola's house to warn him to stop trying to buy the children over with gifts. They are not going anywhere with him. He should just be a father from a distance. She goes home and reprimands her kids who try to reason with her. Fola visits his father at the office to tell him about his mom's attitude of late. She hasn't been talking to them. Later at home, Tiwa tells Fola he's being selfish and not seeing things from Victoria's perspective. Also, it's quite insensitive of him to assume she's okay, not even bothered of how she's taking everything or how they'll break the news to their own children. She advises he gets to know his kids instead of spoiling them with gifts. Fola later apologizes and asks her to stand by him and help him get through it together. On the other hand, Jay tries talking some sense into Victoria, especially about giving her children the cold shoulder. She's absolutely disappointed in her kids at how gullible they are to be easily swayed with gifts. They didn't stop to think if their father would have come looking for them had he not seen them at the party. The kids apologize to her for not considering her feelings. Tiwa and Fola pay them a visit days later. This time he's come for Vicky as he would call her. He apologizes for seizing the opportunity to write his wrongs disregarding her feelings and begs her to let him help her take some of the burden off and also grant him permission to be a father to Anu and Fola. He realizes he went about it the wrong way. He further mentions he's eternally grateful to her for everything she did for him and hopes that if not for the kids then at least she should let him show appreciation for putting him through school. Her kids could not believe their ears. Their mother sponsored their father's education. Victoria is left in tears. A year later, she and her kids leave for the airport to meet with Folarin. I guess all is well that ends well. The end. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Tune in for more movie moments.